Uh, what, what's a reasonable assumption, in your view, about uh, when we could actually expect to see a working vaccine available globally? So, yeah, that, that is the million-dollar question. Uh, the important thing to understand is we've got a very good chance of having at least one, if not more, excellent candidate because we've got nine vaccines going into what we call phase three trials, and we've got another more than 150 at various stages of development. But normally, you know, when you've got lots of things, products in development, you'll see a 90% fail rate. So we still don't know which ones are going to come out as the excellent, uh, the, the vaccine with the excellent safety um, profile and excellent efficacy, and that's what you want. So the trials that are going on at the moment are very exciting, big numbers of people being enrolled, but that's got to take time so that you can meet those two important things, safety and genuine effectiveness. Can you give us, from the, the World Health Organization's perspective, uh, a kind of a, a sense of where we stand on this pandemic? Six months in, we have seen s spikes, many resurgences um, it, around the world. How are we doing? Oh, I feel like we may have just lost uh, Dr. Harris from the World Health Organization. Uh, we will try Hello? to okay. get her back. Uh, and of course, Vani, this is really the big question. We have seen a resurgence in COVID-19 uh, around the world, uh, and definitely in, uh, in uh, the Canadian market. Um, I'm actually a little bit concerned here that I didn't just lose Dr. Harris, that I've lost my connection to the studio. If that's the case, I'm going to hand this over to you, Vani. Amanda, well, that is the WHO communications officer, Dr. Margaret Harris. And of course, it's coming on the heels of the news that JP Morgan has sent some of its traders home from its equity trading floor because an employee tested positive. Doctor, how concerned are you that we're seeing a resurgence in Europe, Dr. Harris? We are very concerned because we have said over and over again, this isn't a virus that goes away. This is a virus that we must suppress by what we do. And by that I mean we, every person on this planet, has to adopt different behaviours that will stop the virus transmitting from person to person. It's extremely good at it. And on all these ideas that have got anything to do with season, it's got anything to do with external, these are wrong. It's up to us. We have to avoid close contact, we have to avoid crowded areas, and we have to avoid closed spaces with poor ventilation. Now, easy for me to say, very hard for everybody to do, but this is what we all have to look at. How can we live that way to stop this virus from transmitting?